this video explains how you can create a function app or Azure functions in Azure portal for that uh, go to portal.azure.com and then search for functions then click on function app then click on add and then uh, you can give the resource group name here function app name then uh, runtime stack like which language you want to use let us say node.js then click next hosting the rest of the things you can keep as it is remember that you will need to have a storage account if you haven't created one you can create new directly from here and then uh, click on next monitoring leave this as it is and you can directly click on review plus create and finally click on create button again and function will be created in a node.js once that is created you can write the coordinate You can invoke that function uh, through the web URL. Uh, remember that this is a free service. Uh, lifetime it is free service. But there is a limit on the number of transactions you can do per month. Let us go to all resources and uh, in here that so you can see here deployment succeeded that notification is shown if you go to the resource by default uh, one sample no function code is already created for you here so in here you can see So uh, the only this URL is created for you right now. Uh, the function is not added. So to add the function, just click on the plus button there, and then uh, click on in portal here. Click on continue. Let us create webhook plus API. But there are a lot of other templates. If you click here, You can see there are a lot of templates there. Azure Blob Storage Trigger, Azure Service Must Topic, Azure Event, Cosmos DB Trigger, Send Grid. Uh, let us create HTTP Trigger. Function name, give it as it is, authorization level function. And we can keep it anonymous. So when you say anonymous, anybody can hit that URL and then Projection level controls uh, the whether the function requires CPI key and uh, which key to use. If you keep it anonymous, that means anybody can access that function through the web URL. So when you hit create, it is uh, created for you. You can see here JavaScript HTTP trigger. The request dot query dot name or request dot body and name context dot uh, result is equal to or response is equal to 200 hello else 400 please pass a name in the query stream so this is the sample code that is created for you what it is doing is if you click here get function url it will uh, give you this is the function that you can call you can copy from here and when you hit that like this it will be hooked and you can see that it is saying pass a name in the query string 
so if you pass the name is equal to like that it will say hello saga so that's how you can create the uh, functions in uh, azure here instead of this code you can write uh, whatever code you want to write here and that's it here you can integrate this one like for example uh, you can get more inputs you can produce the output HTTP output, queue storage, blob storage, etc. So a lot of things are possible over there. If you click on manage, you can add a new function key. You can disable the function if you want as well. You can add the proxies to this function to hide the function from public interface. So that's uh, that's it in this uh, function app. If you have more questions uh, regarding this function, uh, in uh, Azure, let me know through the comments. Thank you for watching this video.